that time Feng and I often went to the village to practice martial arts. But for some reason, every time the madman in the village saw us, he would chase after us with a stick and ask us to play together. So we just knew to run away. That madman kept looking at us and said that they had to kill the vampire with him. Feng and I ran a long way. Then that crazy guy didn't chase us anymore. Feng said that for some reason the madman kept talking about vampires. It had been a long time and it was just a rumor. I also heard the madman talk a lot about vampires but I didn't know how the true story was. I thought he was talking nonsense like that because he was crazy. So Feng got a little worried and told me that many people in the village also knew about this. I was more surprised and urged Feng to tell me about it. Feng tried to recall it from his memory and then began to tell me why the madman went crazy and the scary story about the female vampire who had come to his village. Five years ago, a very beautiful girl suddenly appeared in the village. She moved from the city to his village to work at the dispensary. Any boy in the village would admire the beauty and hot body of the girl. She dressed simply but made up her face carefully and her gait was flexible. Anyone was attractive when looking through her dreamy eyes. Her body always gave off a faintly enchanting fragrance. No wonder there were no boys in the village who wouldn't fall in love with her. The men were infatuated when looking at her full breasts. Even her sexy round butt also made them unable to take their eyes off. One of the guys followed in this girl's oh footsteps God. and eloquently declared that he would make this girl his. The madman at that time was still a healthy young man. His name was Wang. Wang advised his friends not to tease the girl because he heard that the girl was a big boss's daughter. Hearing that, the guy said he was just saying it for fun. However, it seemed that Wang's friends had no intention of stopping teasing the girl. At that time, Wang and his friends were unemployed, so they often gathered to drink and gamble. That night, they made a date to play cards and chat while playing. Lately, suddenly, there were a lot of bad rumors about that girl. After a long time, Wang secretly loved and missed the girl, so he also had an unhappy expression when he heard about those rumors about her. While playing cards, Wang asked two friends if they spread bad rumors about the girl. Wang's friends appeared sinister and said, She came to this town to not only work as a nurse but also to work as a lady of the night. People in this village all knew. As he spoke, he glanced at the friend next to him and asked a friend if he wanted to find the girl. So they advised Wang not to think about that girl anymore. She was just a prostitute. They also knew that Wang had a crush on the girl, but the truth was too harsh. So they invited Wang to drink at the pub to help him forget his sadness. Wang felt very sad, but he still wanted to find out the truth about this. Wang's friends saw that Wang drank so much and said that Wang should go to her house at night to see. There would be men sneaking into her house. Wang said that he would verify this for himself. While drunk, Wang's friends also uttered ridiculous words about the girl. They said that they had better come to see that girl tonight to know how she tasted. Wang heard that and became angry. He hit the table to get up. Two of Wang's friends were also surprised by Wang's attitude at this time. Knowing that Wang was too drunk, they stopped drinking. Then everyone went home. Wang walked on the street, drunk, which did not make Wang forget the unpleasant feeling when he heard words from his friends about the girl. But when he approached the girl's house, Wang suddenly saw a man standing in front of the girl's house. Not only that, but he also cordially called her name in the middle of the quiet night. Wang realized that the guy had a happy wife and children, but the fact that he was at the girl's house at midnight caused Wang a lot of suspicions. So Wang immediately chose a hidden corner and watched when that guy wasn't paying attention. Then Wang hid behind the wall, observing the relationship that the guy had with this girl. The scene in front of him was unbelievable. Could the rumor about the girl be true? Wang was angry and depressed when he saw the scene, but he still wanted to clarify this. So Wang climbed into the girl's house through the back door. 
Entering the courtyard, he was attracted by the light from the bedroom suddenly turned on. Wang stood outside silently, peeking in the window to see what these two were doing. Inside the couple pounced on each other, the man put his arms around the girl. This beautiful girl was also very bold, taking the initiative to kiss this young man passionately. It was no longer a rumor. Wang had witnessed it with his own eyes. However, a few seconds later, Wang was horrified when he witnessed something very terrible. As soon as she hugged the guy, her beautiful face turned into a pale old face. Her eyes were bloodshot and fierce. Not stopping there, she also opened her mouth wide, revealing the sharp monster-like teeth, her hands tightly wrapped around the man's body. She then took a hard bite on his neck and sucked his blood. A moment later, the man's body turned white and fell to the ground. Wang saw the scene and was extremely scared, involuntarily shouted and fell back. Unexpectedly, a scream made the girl inside discover. She knew that there was an intruder in the house and had seen all her secrets. The girl heard the noise and went out of the bedroom. Wang was extremely frightened. The scary girl suddenly stopped staring at Wang with bloodshot eyes, bright red blood flowing from her mouth. Wang was so scared now that he didn't know what to do. He just knew how to knock on the door and run out of the house. Wang ran straight home, running while shouting that there was a demon. After returning home, Wang appeared to be shaken, hiding under the blanket and repeatedly saying that there were demons. Wang's parents tried to ask many doctors to examine the disease, but no matter how much they treated him, he still couldn't be cured. Wang only knew how to cover his whole body with a blanket. He burst into tears to say that the girl was a vampire. Anywhere he went and saw the woman, he all said that they were vampires. Since then, people in the village always came across a madman running everywhere and screaming. Feng told me the strange story and added that the woman also disappeared from the village after that day. I was curious to ask Feng if this story was true or not. Feng said he heard from his grandfather that the girl was a vampire who lured men to suck blood. That was why she was always young, beautiful and immortal. While Feng was walking and telling me the stories, we accidentally saw a beautiful woman passing by. This woman caught Feng's and my attention. It had been a long time since a beautiful woman appeared in the village. I was curious. Why was this girl just like the one described in Feng's story? Her face was beautiful. Her body was also very sexy. However, I thought Feng's story was just a rumor. Not all beautiful girls were vampires.